pixel junk shooter dropped on my doorstep from PSN a few months ago. Didn't think anything of it. Just another shit game, right? Actually, this was one great gem that managed to dissolve many of my hours. It's just highly fucking addicting. Addicting like heroin. Same bloody thing. So, you're this little spaceship that could. You can shoot by tapping one of your buttons on that controller, and if you hold down that very same button, you will launch missiles. However, your temperature gauge goes up, and oddly enough, that very same temperature gauge is your life. If it goes all the way up, then your ship drops out of the sky. However, if God loves you enough, he'll land you in water and cool you back down. If not, then you burn up and crash. Sounds simple, right? Your goal is to go underground and rescue people in diamonds. <laughs> no, no really, you'll be rescuing diamonds. Once you figure out each of these little puzzles in the level, the door opens and you move forward. Easy peasy Japanesey, right Omar? There are twists, like two peas in a bowl. Lava fucks you up, brings your temps up, right? And that's your life. But what if the path is blocked by ice? What the fuck are you supposed to do now? Give up and pull out? No, you go into a pod that is placed on the map somewhere for no specific reason other than to turn your ship into lava, well, sorta. What this does is enable you to shoot lava out, but what about your temperature slash health gauge? Now water and ice hurt you. Kinda fucks with your senses cause now you have to run into lava to get that gauge to go down, but this sorta mind fucks you. With your temp up, you'll see a drop of water or a small puddle down below, and you'll go to it, and as you think you're one lucky son of a bitch, you go into this puddle and die. Why? Because water fucking kills you now. So what you've learned for the first few levels fucks you all kinds of up. On a side note, I do enjoy the graphics. Kept really simple with retarded awesome physics. Retarded in a good way. Music is also very, it's very indie. One thing I really do enjoy is the boss battles. You'll get one for each level and they are fun. It's not a triple A title, but it's a triple A pastime. There's not much more to do than that, so let's end this. This is DTR. Communicate later. Bye.